I love just winging it. It's my favorite thing ever. Hi guys, and welcome back to the series called Decorate With Me, where I take you along and we decorate and DIY from my new little apartment. This episode, we're gonna keep working on the apartment, and I'm gonna show you the bathroom, because a lot of you were like, where's your bathroom? Do you even have one? And obviously I have a bathroom, so I'm gonna show it to you, and we're gonna work on it. Um, and let's just get started. It's the weekend, and that means that I get a whole weekend to work on the apartment, which is good, because I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to go to Home Depot and then I'm gonna go to the office and work on, use the tools and everything there to build some stuff. Um, and then we'll see how far we get. So remember that floating shelf from last episode? While well, I'm doing another one, I'm making it a little bit bigger. Partway through my Floating shelf, sand, paint, stain. And I'm also staining some legs that I bought for a DIY kitchen island. Today we're doing sconces. So I ended up making this. We did a DIY wall sconce video. And this was actually inspired by Wendy's take on our video. So she um, made her own wall sconces and she actually used it with a shade, which I'm going to do too. Um, so I made it a little bit differently. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be cute. And I don't know if I already mentioned, but I'm gonna eventually frost this. Just not today, because I'm busy. Put those in, now I'm gonna put in my drywall plugs and then put the screws back in. And then paint and cover up my screws because I don't want black screws showing. Hashtag not sponsored. My screws won't go in all the way. You know what that means. They probably hit concrete. I'm sad and I ate too much smart food. <laughs> so next up, I wanna show you something. So this is a Calyx unit from Ikea. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. Usually they're like the four cubes, but um, you saw me stain the legs. I put those on. You didn't see me <laughs> install these drawers. Uh, these are now the only drawers I have in my um, apartment, in the kitchen. Uh, and then also there's the cabinet here. This is from Ikea, and then these are um, like add-ons you can add to the Calyx. So over here, I didn't install this extra shelf because I want this to be a hanging pots and pans area. I think it'll look cute and also be functional. So I actually picked up this wooden dowel and I cut it to size using a handsaw. I cut two of them and these are gonna be my pot hanging rails and then I just gave them a quick coat of spray paint. And while those dry, I'm going to start installing the hooks for those rails to sit in and then I got hooks that are gonna hang the pots. I'm also gonna saw these little dowel bits that are sticking out. Okay, and that's how you make a DIY kitchen island. And then I'll put a basket here. not seem like an issue but it's just like really deep like really deep but it makes the bathroom feel really small like doesn't that look stupid I think it looks stupid I bought a mirror at Ikea I think it's gonna fit a lot better it's not gonna give me any storage but I'm willing to sacrifice that storage for um, a bigger feeling bathroom and so that when I spit I can like lean my head in and spit in my sink properly without hitting my head. Uninstalling, bye bye. Oh God, what is that nastiness? Is that like gum? This is like glued on. This is doing jack that's what that is. I thought it was like gum, it's glue. They freaking glued this onto the wall. If I can't take this off, I'm gonna be really upset. 
my new mirror was gonna be so nice and tall. Guys, my landlord is the sickest. I emailed him today and I was like, here's a list of things I wanna do, can you come over? And he just came over, he banged out my mirror. He literally like shut the door and he's like, this is gonna be loud. And he like took a hammer to it. Oh my God, look at this. Okay, fan. So he's actually going to have somebody replace this um, this weekend because I bought a new light. <laughs> Look at this mess. So you can see where it was and I'm gonna put a new mirror there and it's gonna be freaking sick. because I don't want to do like a bunch of holes and I'm already kind of screwed because I need to move it down like this much which means it's going to be so close to my other hole. So maybe I will take these out, patch the holes up there and then I'll come back to this when I have a measuring tape. This is great, this is great, that's not great, but can we just take in how perfectly this fits? Okay, I'm going to take this down now. Hey guys, it is another night, and um, I actually have a date tonight. I'm going out in a sec, but I wanted to take the time to finish my wall sconces. I got this one up the other day, so basically what I ended up doing was not screwing in, since that didn't work. I just ended up sticking them on the walls, like removable sticky hook. I basically did like the hot gluing of the construction world, the sewing world, Craft world, like hot gluing to crafting is sticky hooks to drilling. I just patched those holes that I made <laughs> from the other one. And honestly, I'm just gonna paint this now. It's like kind of dry, but um, you won't see it because this is gonna be on top. So I'm excited. Shall we install this? I think we shall. Okay, I'm really happy with them. I mean, I feel like this doesn't really do us justice, but I think it's looking cute. And then I just need to figure out how to do my plant shelf up here, slash floating shelf. Damn, is that ever cute. I love these. So I'm really excited for tonight's project because it's something I knew I wanted to do for a very, very, very long time. And it is covering this. I don't want to see inside of this, so I'm going to make a macrame curtain to cover it. That's the plan. And also, I will be getting something for in here. I am so lucky that um, Structube is going to sponsor some furniture. So I picked out some pieces, and I'm going to get them soon. And one of them is a dresser that's going to go in there, because this one I picked up was just like a temporary little one. But I actually found something on Structube. It was like perfect. That should fit. Um, and I'm really excited for that to come. But today, we're gonna be making a macrame curtain. So apparently I need a 200 inch string folded in half, um, and that'll be two of those together to make four strings. And I need those groups of four strings 14 times. But I'm just gonna see how many I fit. Maybe I don't need that many. I just need to do that 20 more times. Okay, so today, I have a loud bathroom, but I have a bathroom update for you. I have my mirror up. This is what I've been dealing with down here because I'm going to make today, hopefully, um, like a bath tray that'll go there. And then I also wanna make this cool like shelf rack thing um, that can hang some stuff on. This, this has been the bane of my existence. So 
These are all from the thrift store. I've been looking for boxes that can fit up here, like wooden boxes, baskets, and I haven't really found anything that I like. So when we can't find something that we like, we DIY it. So I'm gonna be making a bath tray, bath rack, boxes. Still need a shower curtain. I've been living off of this like clear one here. And then I think we're like getting there for the bathroom. So I didn't get all the pieces cut at the hardware store because it costs moolah to do that and I just didn't know the measurements off by heart. I wrapped in some of this wood that I just got. This is gonna be my bath tray. Up here I got another piece and I'm gonna add hook and they might just sit in these like this, maybe. Um, but then have, but then maybe have hooks underneath of it. So I'm gonna go to the office to cut some pieces and maybe pick up some stain and stuff so I can complete those projects. Should we take a look at the shower curtain? Okay, so I got this shower curtain at HomeSense, and I like it because it kind of matches my towels, but like not too matchy matchy. Hopefully, kind of looks like a giant towel. Let me see if I'm here for it. Yes, I vibe with this. Now I think it's time to head to the office so I can build some stuff. Okay, I made some things. This is the bath tray. And we actually have a tutorial on our channel from like a couple of years ago on how to make that. So I can make that. And then these are my boxes. They turned out pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna leave this all dry and then I'm gonna give it a quick sand before I stain it tonight. I'm gonna bring these pieces into the bathroom once they're all dry. But in the meantime, remember that shelf I was working on at the beginning of the episode? Well, it's time to install it. I realized in hindsight that this shelf would have been a lot easier to install if it was in two pieces. Making it so big made it a little bit difficult to line up all the pegs, but in the end, it's up on the wall and it looks good, and that's all that matters. This was my mirror, guys. Bye, mirror. See you later. <laughs> my landlord put that there. It's, I'm not littering, I promise. to pick up this rug literally this is my third attempt well they tried to deliver it late at night I wasn't at the office I came to the post office to pick it up and they weren't open and then I came before and they didn't have it yet so this is my fourth little run-in with this rug here and I'm excited to see it in the space Well, this is it. It has like these little pom-poms, which are kind of cute. And it's just woven, and it has these line details. And my plan was to put it here, like around the base of my bed, but like, look how similar it is. It's such it's like the same thing, which maybe won't look bad. I don't know. I may have to figure out that rug placement later, but something we can work on right now is this shelf, which I'm finally done. So I ended up adding these brackets for support. So I'm just gonna give them a quick paint and then we can get to putting some things on the shelf. But I'm just gonna put a couple things on because the real styling will come at the very end of the. But you know when you just like can't wait so you gotta put something on? Me. This is gonna be right for my laundry money. Okay, there's some temporary styling. You get the gist of it. This is kind of how my mirror turned out. I just keep this here. This candle, this little lip gloss. But this I got from the thrift store. And um, the floofs, 
Ooh, guys, I think, I think we have a vibe. I think today is gonna be the day where I pretty much finish the bathrooms. I have my stained tray and me boxes. I only stained a couple of them because I wanted different looks. And let's put this whole thing together. I do need a couple more things for the bathroom still, but it's getting there and hopefully I can finish up with any final touches in the next episode. Thanks guys for joining me for another episode of Decorate With Me. I do have one more episode, I believe, where we're gonna finish up this apartment, give you some nice shots and show you what everything looks like pulled together. It's crunch time. This isn't easy. So mad respect to anybody that's working on a space or trying to decorate or make it feel a little bit more homey. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And I'll see you next time.